So hello everyone, my name is Maria and today I'll be showing you guys about eCards websites. So what are we going to cover today? So we're going to be covering what are eCards, the different eCard websites, and how these websites uh, offer digital greeting cards that can be personalized with a message and sent via email for various occasions. And how can you access them on your phone or laptop? So what are e-cards? An e-card is an electronic version of a greeting card or postcard. They are accessed or sent digitally instead of traditionally on paper. E-cards are usually available through numerous sites, some which we will talk about today. Since these cards are digital, they are usually able to be personalized to whatever the sender would like it to be. If you don't want your e-card to be personalized, you are able to choose from pre-made templates. Then go through it with the rest of the e-card process, like adding any messages, pictures, etc. Different types of e-card. So we're going to focus right now on postcards and greeting cards. Cyber postcards were one of the first e-cards to be put into use and contained some sort of visual content along with a personalized message. Cyber greeting cards follow the same format with a greeting along with a visual. Flash animation e-cards. A flash animation is a short clip, usually about 15 to 20 seconds long. These type of content could include background music, have a cartoon style, or be interactive. Video e-cards. Video e-cards use a combination of either text, images, and or videos to create a personalized message for the recipient. You can choose your own media to add in the video or choose from any pre-recorded or existed content. Mobile e-cards. These are e-cards that are transmitted through a mobile device using a message service. Another word for mobile e-cards is m-cards which could be specifically offered by a service carrier and contain media or text. So these are the websites. The first one is techboomers.com. Techboomers.com explores the seven best places to obtain an e-card and some helpful guidance on sending them. These are some free options mentioned on this webpage. So the first one is 123 Greeting. The second one is Jib Jab. And the third one is American Greetings. The second website is LifeWire.com, which is another website that lists places to obtain and send e-cards along with insightful pros and cons. Some of the e-cards site to mention on this website is Greetings Island, Open Me, and Cross Cards. If you do not find a site you wish to use, LifeWire.com also has hand-picked lists of the best sites. The third one is BlueMountain.com which is another web page where you can access thousands of e-cards pre-made or personalize your own. You're also able to include a gift card, choose an interactive card, add multimedia, and much more. In order to get unlimited access in this site, you must make an account, which is available on a free trial. And these are the membership options. The monthly one is $6.99. The year is $29.99. And two years is $39.99.
taxes may apply. So how to access e-cards on your device. When sending an e-card, you should find the right website according to your preferences. You can also send an e-card version of a gift card for stores that offer them. Once you find the site you wish to use, it may ask you to create an account and start a subscription or trial. If the site is free, you may only need to start your e-card right away. You can do all of these steps using a device, whether it is a computer or a mobile device. In order to send an e-card, you will need the recipient's contact information. It can be an email or phone number. Once you access this information, sending it should be very easy and after customizing it or selecting your desired e-card, you can send it to that contact. If you are the recipient, you will receive some form of contact digitally where you can reach this e-card sent to you. You would just have to check your email. A helpful tip for this is when opening an email or any message that appears to be an e-card, be careful of tricks that could make you download malware onto your device. Thank you for listening. If you would like to learn about this lesson with a cyber senior mentor, please go to this website or call this number to go on a one-on-one -on -one phone call session. We also host weekly tech drop-ins sessions from 2 to 3 Eastern Time on Thursdays. Thank you.